Hello everyone! How are you doing? I hope everyone is happy, excited, and ready to learn science with me, Mr. Pan. Today, we are going to have a discussion about how we can use solids, liquids, and gases safely. However, before we start, let's pray first. Let's pray together. Amen. Do you still remember our previous discussion about changes in states of matter? Good! We have learned that there are some changes that occur during changes of state. You have also found out how the temperature of water changes as it is heated or cooled. Moreover, now you understand how changes in states are important to our daily activities. Anyway, today we're going to learn about how we can use solids, liquid, and gases safely. In the end of the lesson, I hope you will be able to describe how to use or handle solids, liquids, and gases found at home and school safely. Alright you guys, let's get started! Look at this dry ice package. There is a warning label on it. Why should there be a warning label on the pack? That's right. It is because a warning label provides some advice for us to follow. Then, why is it important for us to follow the advice shown in the warning label? Exactly. It is important to follow the advice because we will safely use the dry ice. That is why today we are going to learn about how we can use solids, liquids, and gases safely. So stay focused and pay attention. We use solids, liquids, and gases in our daily lives. Some of them can be dangerous or harmful to us if they are not used properly. Look at these objects. Solid objects such as an iron nails, knives, and broken glass are sharp. They can prick or cut us. Ouch! These are some examples of liquids. Liquids such as oils and gases stored in tanks can catch fire easily. Hmm, we should be careful. Meanwhile, liquids such as pesticides and bleach can be harmful if they get into our body. Some liquids also give out poisonous gases. Ooh. Look at this sign. Have you ever seen this sign before? Yeah, this is called GHS hazard sign. Some product packs provide this sign to warn us about the usage. We should really know how to use or handle different solids, liquids, and gases properly to stay safe. These are some rules that we can follow when using the substances at home and school. First, be careful when using sharp objects. Do not handle broken glass with bare hands. Use a broom and a dustpan to remove it. Second, read the label on the container carefully before using the substance in it. The labels will tell you how the substance should be used properly. Third, use the right amount of substances according to the instruction given. Do not taste or touch the substances that are unknown for you. And if you spill any unknown or harmful liquid onto your skin 
or cloth, wash it off quickly with plenty of water and soap. Fourth, avoid breathing in poisonous gases that are given out by liquids such as glue and floor cleaner. Fifth, do not put substances that can easily catch fire near a flame. Alright, how was our exploration today? Was it fun? Great! I hope by learning science today, you can follow some advice about handling matter properly. Now, it's trivia time! Open your science textbook, page 73, and do the quick check, number 2. Write your answers and post them on the answer column in Google Classroom. I will respond directly and discuss together. Alright, that's all for today. I'll see you in the next session with another fun materials. Moreover, I will see you in the Zoom meeting to discuss the activity book. Thank you for watching. Stay happy and healthy. Stay safe and stay at home. Remember the three W's. Wash your hand often. Wear your mask. Watch your distance with others. See you next week and bye-bye everyone.